This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are A Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you? I am doing okay on the mend. I had surgery a week ago. Nothing, how can I say? How can you say it? Nothing too serious, but I think anytime you have a surgery, it is serious. But nothing health threatening. I put it like that. God is good. I wanted to do a um, like motivational reading from the Daily Word. I'm a little winded still. I can still tell that. <laughs> my joy is complete as I realize my oneness with God. Within every trial is an opportunity to spiritually surrender, deepen in faith, and grow in awareness of God. Growing closer to God is the silver lining surrounding the clouds of human experience. In that silver lining, I can discover my joy. There have been times when I felt I had nowhere to turn, no one in whom I could trust. I got to read that one more again. There have been times when I felt I had nowhere to turn, no one in whom I could trust. It was precisely at my lowest points I discovered the depths of my faith and the power of God's loving presence. Over time, my circumstances improved and my difficulties resolved. I took from those troubles a closer relationship with God and a deeper understanding of my divine gifts. If, trouble, if troubles visit me again, I will meet them with faith and persevere finding joy and rising again. This verse is so good, but it's hard to accept sometimes for me. It's hard to comprehend. It's not a, a tough verse, but it's a tough verse to digest. But if you really think about it, it makes sense. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, Consider it nothing but joy. That's in the book of James 1 and 2. James is a shorter book, but it's packed with a lot of meat. My joy is complete as I realize my oneness with God. The title of this is Joy. What is joy? Joy is not a brand new house. Joy is not a big wedding. Joy is not a fat bank account. Joy is not fame. Joy is not fortune. Joy is an internal compass. It's an internal feeling that's unexplainable. I had joy when I had breast cancer. I still was laughing, cracking jokes, smiling. People probably thought I was nuts. We are not our circumstances. Some people can still have joy when they lose someone close to them. I know that's hard to digest. But if their loved one was sick for two and three years and they had to watch them be bedridden or have bed sores or can't eat, can't speak, when their loved one passes away, they can have some sort of joy knowing they are no longer suffering. I know we're selfish because I remember my mom was sick. I didn't care how sick she was. I didn't want her to pass away. But me and my sister did say it was a part of us like, we didn't want to see our mom that way. My mom was a vibrant, funny, beautiful woman that was a poet. She had worked 35 years at the post office. She was only 64. But at the end of her life, she became stricken with brain cancer. And she was giving us a look like this, um, you know what? <laughs> you know, she was looking pissed. If you are used to driving around Chicago, going downtown, enjoying pastries and enjoying fancy stores and plays and concerts and all of a sudden you're bedridden it's hard imagine being her and it's something when people get sick how people scatter not to be like gross but if you lived in the hood or if you dealt with roaches you turn on the lights the roaches scatter that's how people do when somebody gets sick very few really show up now i'm blessed to say I, you know, anytime I get sick, God is good. That's all I could say. He has surrounded me with 
people that truly care, people that truly love me. They call, they text, they send food, they send flowers, they send money. And I don't take it lightly. And my prayer and how I try to move in my life, I give a lot. You know, I'm not on here bragging. I'm just being honest. I give when I see there's a need. I try to help somebody because I know I remember not having money in my checking account. I remember being financially, you know, strapped. So I always said if I got a little something, I could give back. And I'm blessed to have people to give back to me. I like this part in this book. There have been times when I felt I had nowhere to turn, no one at whom I could trust. I'm a paranoid lady. I'll tell you all, I don't trust a lot of people. I really don't. I trust those that prove themselves trustworthy, but some I have a raised eyebrow at because I know some people are insecure. Some people are self-absorbed, self self-serving so i mean you know i don't trust a whole lot of people per the bible it says trust in the lord didn't say trust in man because man man is fickle man it can be one way the same day and switch up on you the same day even your own mother can go against you your own sister your own father your brother your cousin your friend so we have to be careful with our trust. Hold it close to your heart. But I like this. Over time, my circumstances improved, my difficulties resolved. I took from those troubles a closer relationship with God and a deeper understanding of my divine gifts. It was during the times when I was sick and I laid up and looked up that I decided and discovered, oh, I want to be a life coach, which led me to become a licensed social worker. It was times of trouble. One time I called around eight people. No one answered their phone. It was during those times, this was many years ago, that I discovered I could call on God. He didn't want me to call on those eight people because you notice if you have a problem, and I don't do this anymore, if I have a problem, I'm not going to call eight people. I'm not even going to call five because like my Uncle Robert said when I had my breakup, don't talk to a lot of people about your situations because what they're going to do is speak to you based on what happened to them. So I had to mature from the breakup I had and I learned a lot. And even like they might be older people. This is the norm like towards breakups. They want to bash the, the person you broke up with or get mad because it didn't work out. Everybody has a choice to say, hey man, this is not for me. Hey lady, I can't do this. And if I haven't learned anything else from that, I learned to give people a lot of grace and stop getting mad at people when they don't want to be with you anymore. Yes, it's a way to do things. We could do things a little better. But you know, every breakup doesn't involve infidelity, abuse, something toxic. You know, everybody's not toxic. Somebody asked me recently something about narcissistic. Isn't everybody narcissistic? That's the word everybody uses now. He narcissist. He's a narcissist. Come on, how can everybody be a narcissist? Words are overused, and sometimes we go to the darkness. Let's stay into the light, the light of joy. And as the Bible said, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy. Somebody break up with you, hard to find joy with a broken heart. But as you heal, you will find joy. You might learn, let me not put so much stock in people. Let me just accept them for who they are, for face value. You lose your job, you may find joy because you may open up your own business. You become ill, but it's a very survivable illness you may find joy because you finally get to pause for the cause and pay attention to your self-care. Pay attention to your mental health. Some things, joy does come out of a bad situation. It's all about perspective. It really is. My dear friend said her job just laid off 6,500 people. She works for a very big bank. And they were going berserk. 
going off. They had to get security in there. I'm not making light of losing your job. We're in an economy that's um, a little bit scary on some of the items we have to purchase. The inflation is, our salary is not keeping up. But as for me, when I go through something like that, if I freak out or act crazy, it just doesn't help me. I can't think straight. Try to stay calm during times of calamity, during a storm. I know the first notion is to freak out. They letting me go. How could they do this? Ah, Remember with these jobs, we're a number, everybody. No matter how great you are, no matter how professional you are, no matter how many degrees, no matter how many years you're given to that company, when they go to that boardroom, our name becomes a number and our salary becomes a number. And if they need to cut that $70,000 you make a year to make that bottom line, they're going to cut you. So I treat a job with a long handle spoon. And although now I'm in a field that I enjoy, I enjoy working with my students. I enjoy being at the school. I enjoy being a therapist. But I still know at the end of the day, it's still a business. No matter how much I like my profession, I'm still at somebody's beck and call, to be honest. And at any given moment, my job can say, lights out, Tammy. I mean, that's just the truth. Even with your own business, it could go belly up. Try not to freak out when these situations happen. And remember, if troubles visit me again, and oh, they will, I will meet them with faith and persevere, finding joy and rising again. I want you to go do a movie over your life. And maybe think of three times in your life that troubles, they risen. Now, I know I can give you about eight for, for me for right now. And every time the trouble came, God lifted me up. And some, it wasn't a quick lift up. Some were years. But he has never failed. When I say never, I mean ever, never, ever, never, 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 never. People failed me. I even failed me. But he never failed me. Joy. Again, it's not a bank account. It's not a house. It's not a car. It's not red bottom shoes. It's not fame. It's not fortune. Joy is an internal compass. It's a feeling that's unexplainable, but it comes from up above. It's not from no man. It's an unexplainable feeling. It's a good feeling. Even during a time of a storm, you could still feel calm, peace. That's joy. Tammy C. Walker, drop me some comments. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for your patience. And I hope I can make some more um, podcasts and videos soon. I will. I'm feeling better and better each day. Have a good day. Bye-bye.